Top 10 Scariest Ghost Videos of the Year I've been getting many requests for our quote scariest clips from all of the top 5 lists. So I figured that this would be the perfect time to feature some of my personal favorites from the last year. And I'll also tell you what I thought was particularly terrifying about each one, and in some cases a few extras that weren't in the original video. So turn off the lights, go full screen, and let's get to it. Dorm Room Ghost a student at Texas A&M University claims that his dorm room was so intensely haunted that he had no choice other than to just move out. Now, whether you believe this video is real or simply an elaborate hoax, I've yet to hear a plausible explanation for how that flying mattress effect could be achieved. So the video definitely deserves its spot in the top 10. Playhouse Ghost Phil Koch usually investigates haunted places along with his group, the Wisconsin Paranormal Society. But on this investigation of the Alchemist Theater in Bayview, Wisconsin, Bill decides to go it alone to investigate the allegedly very haunted playhouse. This is the theater. I got a camera set up in this corner here. And uh, I'm just going to sit. We got a furnace running, so there's sound, but I'm just going to sit and uh, listen. And just let the camera wrap. Just let the camera roll, and uh, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Just move behind me. Jeez. Something just moved behind me. Jeez. Okay. Bill catches a theater chair that seems to unfold all on its own. He's slightly disturbed by the occurrence, but it's nothing compared to what he finds in the hallways of the theater's creepy basement. Okay, it's 1.15. I haven't heard anything yet. I haven't even gone back yet to check on the on this prop in Sarah. I keep hearing things walking around, but that's probably tenants upstairs. So, I, it sounds like there's no stairs, but Still, it's uh, 125. Still haven't heard anything besides random creaking. Hello? Anybody in here? Well, oh, besides the people upstairs. Okay. Well, I'm gonna look, see if this prop is still back here again. And then we'll take a look. Come on! See if this prop is still back here again. 
And then we'll take a look. Jeez. Come on. That, that's not cool. <laughs> that door open? No, that door was open. That door was closing. If anybody's in there messing with me, I'm gonna kick your ass. Hello? Okay, I don't see anything in here. Hello? Hey. Out, out. Ah. Camera, cameras. Out, out, out. Understandably, Phil Koch didn't do many ghost investigations after this video. But in my opinion, this is still one of the creepiest and perhaps the funniest ghost clip we featured this year. The House of Khalil. I featured Jordanian explorer Ehab Kasmiya in another video, and for good reason. He has some of the creepiest ghost hunting videos online. In this video, he is investigating a place he calls the House of Khalil. As the story goes, a man named Khalil went insane and did away with his entire family in this house before ending his own life. It is said that Khalil's spirit still haunts the home. As he explores, Ahab begins to hear strange noises. And then this. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. A'udhu bi kalimat Allah al-Tamat. Min sharri ma khalaq. Ya, kul ishi. Ye, 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 ye. Ahab sees something that looks like a person peering through the window. But when he runs inside to check, nothing. But the creepy occurrences don't stop there. وان بهاي المواقف بتكون الشغلة يا قاتل يا مقتول. طبعا أعوذ بك. يا قاتل يا مقتول أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات. بسم الله. بسم الله. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعوذ بكلمات الله. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Ahab doesn't even seem to notice some of the bizarre events that he catches on camera. At one point, it actually looks like a face is peering at him through a nearby window. Ahab decides to leave and investigate another abandoned house that is directly upstairs from the first one. But he feels like the ghost or jinn of Khalil might have followed him. As he investigates the house, he begins to feel like he can see something lurking behind him in the mirrors. And after that chilling experience, Ahab decides to just make a quick exit. 
Since the Habs video was featured, his channel has gained over four times the subscribers he had originally, and he's now at 220,000 subscribers. I've seen many supposed supernatural channels trying to fake or imitate his Ghost in the Mirror video, but none match up to the downright chilling original. Unwelcome Guests This next clip was sent in to me by John Plymel. He says that he and his friend Alan were checking out an abandoned farmhouse near his grandmother's home in upstate New York. As you can see, the house is isolated. It sits in the middle of nowhere on a barely traveled back road. The outside looks like something right out of a horror movie. And the inside is no better. The house is a death trap, full of rot and mold. The upstairs floor is so rotten the two are afraid to even try to venture up the stairs and the basement is piled with garbage. Yo, I guess that's the basement. That's the basement? Yeah, that's disgusting. What it's just piled hell? with trash. But then, they hear something upstairs. You're hearing that, right? Like random footsteps? Somebody was up there, they would fall through. Bro, I'm getting cold. You can see spitting. Yo. That sh I'm going through the bathroom. I'm. Bro! It's interesting to note that one of the boys mentions that the floor is so rotten that if someone were upstairs, they would fall right through. Because when I was watching the video, I noticed this. It would fall through. Bro. Through one of the narrow, rotten holes in the floor, it almost looks like someone is staring down at them from above. Or maybe it's just an optical illusion. Either way, the boys did not return to investigate further. Bro! The fact that John didn't see this strange eye peeking at them at the time, or even when he watched his own video back later, makes the clip especially unnerving. Hider in the house. A man is hired to remodel an empty house for resale. But as he works, he begins to hear strange noises coming from somewhere inside. He suspects that a squatter might have taken up residence in the empty home. Doing this cabinet crown. And I think there's a squatter in this house. I think it's in here. Hello? 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 Anybody here? Hello? Hello? The heck is that? Hello?
Who is it? The sh Eventually, the man works up the courage to come back and retrieve his dropped phone. The carpenter says that he will never go back inside the house again. He claims, quote, there is something evil in that home. Whether there's something evil in the house or not, the suspense in this video keeps you on the edge of your seat right till the end. So that's why it earns a spot in the top 10 scariest ghost videos of the year. A place of nightmares. Over a six month period, Colombian Twitter user Don Paramo recounted a very chilling story which took place in his new apartment. Paramo's spooky Twitter tale starts when he moves into a new apartment with his cat Octavio. Octavio. Octavio, salude. Hola. He was amazed that he had been able to find such a spacious, fully furnished apartment with a private balcony for such a low price. But things soon took a turn toward the bazaar. His cat Octavio, who is usually very friendly and gentle, becomes withdrawn and aggressive. Paramo finds objects move from one place to another and starts to hear strange sounds at night, especially in his bedroom. Me había olvidado contarles lo de la cama. Resulta que me mudé acá y pues, como les dije, habían los muebles. Estaba esta una cama de cedro y resulta que dos veces me he despertado porque escucho que alguien ronca durísimo a mi lado. Y pues cuando me despierto, pues obviamente nadie puede estar roncando porque, pues porque vivo solo. Pero los ronquidos se escuchan durísimo. Don Paramo even says that sometimes he wakes up feeling as if someone has nudged or touched him in his sleep. He talks to a neighbor and learns that a mentally disturbed man named Tito passed away in his apartment. He died in the very same bed that Don Paramo has been sleeping in. The man's body wasn't found by the landlord until weeks after his death. By this time, on his Twitter account, Don Paramo has built up a large following. After many audience requests, he decides to do a live Periscope stream from his apartment. What happens on the live stream shocks everyone viewing to their core. First, everything is going fine. Don Paramo gives a casual live tour of his home. But three minutes into the stream, things take a turn towards the horrific y más cosas y lo otro que encontré nuevo fue como un, un hueco que hay en la parte en la parte de afuera por la parte de la terraza hay una especie de hueco que no sé a dónde va y se los voy a mostrar Did you see it? Watch again. As Don Paramo passes by his bedroom, someone or something seems to be lying in his bed. Something dark and terrifying. Paramo doesn't even notice and continues his house tour. Later, when he returns to the bedroom, the bed is empty and there is no evidence that anything was ever there. No, no, acá no hay nada. Pues Octavio estaba aquí, pero se salió nada más. Yo salí. Bueno. Don Paramo's story about the strange feeling that someone was sleeping next to him and then this dark shape in his bed makes for one of the creepiest stories and one of the strangest live feeds I've ever seen. The Ghosts of Carmel, Maine The YouTube channel Ghosts of Carmel, Maine is always a viewer favorite here on the channel. But this particular video really seemed to put a fright into many viewers, ranking it as one of the year's scariest. Wow.
Okay, there he is in the window again. Went under the bed. If you're wondering why Kent's reaction is so casual in a situation that would absolutely horrify most of us, well, he says he's had hundreds of these bizarre encounters while living in his haunted home. Hope you guys say something or do something. Oh my God! No! Oh. To see all of Kent's ghost investigations, check out his channel, Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. The Cage. In the small town of St. Osseth in Essex, UK, there is a very old abandoned prison called The Cage. The prison is unique in that for over 400 years, it served as a jail to confine and execute women convicted of witchcraft. Paranormal researcher Brian Mack and his crew went to the site to perform an investigation into the supposed supernatural activity in the prison. While there, the crew said that they heard strange footsteps and whispers lights turned on and off by themselves, and members of the crew were bitten or pinched by something that they couldn't see. The experience was so frightening that some crew members actually refused to continue with the investigation. But the creepiest and most bizarre experience of all came when Brian Mack's team attempted to perform a seance while Brian observed from the other room. Face has completely changed, doesn't even look like a person. Right, Debbie, you need to come down here for a minute, please. Oh, that is weird, man. Why is it black? As the seance begins, one of the women's face seems to transform and contort in a horrifying way. Her nose seems to grow and her mouth curves into a bizarre, inhuman grin. Your face has completely changed. Doesn't even look like a person. Right, Debbie, you need to come down here for a minute, please. The researchers become worried and call the woman out of the room. It was later found that even though the woman had been wearing several layers of thick clothing, she had a bizarre burn mark down the back of her neck. After the investigation, the woman says that she had horrible nightmares and experienced strange things around her home. As for why this video was included in the scariest videos list, well, this face. And I think that's all the explanation needed. When horror becomes horror. This next clip was sent in to me by Andrew Barahona, a filmmaker for Board Film Studios. Andrew was filming a scene for a horror movie in the historic and allegedly very haunted Doña Ana County Courthouse in New Mexico. In the scene they are filming, the actress Chelsea is meant to be acting overcome with fear because in the movie scene, a killer is supposed to be stalking her through the building's hallways. But acting frightened soon turns into very real terror. Wait, 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 turn the light down. Oh, Filmmaker and the actress are the only ones on the third floor of the courthouse, but suddenly a startling and very real door slam can be heard from somewhere nearby. <laughs> then both of them hear some very odd whispering that sounds like it's right in the room with them. And so at the time, I had the camera in my hand, and I almost reacted immediately when I heard it. It was like it was next to me. And so uh, she said she saw something behind me, and we just booked it. Now, of course, since this clip came from a professional filmmaker, I was especially skeptical. But I think the footage, along with their very believable reactions, speaks for itself. A terrifying tour. This next video is especially unique because it doesn't involve your typical group of ghost hunters. 
This video was taken by Adelaide's Haunted Horizons Ghost Tours. This tour group is exploring the supposedly haunted Talem Town Church in South Australia. The people that you see in this video are all random tour participants, not paranormal researchers. They have no reason to fake their reactions. So, first the tour group's camera and light batteries begin to drain mysteriously. Then very strange things begin to happen to the tour participants. Oh, wow. He just let that shit. Yeah, they fell on something and sat the chair and it vibrated and then they fell on something like that. Oh, okay. So that was that night. Then, as I said, it knows the night. Oh my god. What? What? Is that you? He's on the other end. Hey, what is it? It's like something seriously. What? That just felt like something just touched the fire and rolled back. Oh my god. He only has a move from his spot. He can't move from it. He looks hell weird. Yeah. Are you alright? I'm good. No, but you're not reacting or anything. She's petrified and you're not even You're just chilling. If you don't feel right, if you get irritable, if you get angry, if you get anxious. <laughs> what are you staring at? What's wrong? Wait, what's wrong? What are you crying? Are you wrong? What's crying? <laughs> what are you doing? No, what is it? No, tell us. Just before you even started. And if you think maybe that guy was just a bit unstable or perhaps having a bad day, well, he's not the only tour member who has a very frightening experience. Just stop tours completely. That way, I guess it will not come back. Because What's going on? it would spoil the game. It's going to touch me again. It was good. Michael, your head is shaking my crazy. I'm doing my That's how I have been since I came in here. I feel oh. sick. You feel sick as well? Yeah. I feel sick and I feel sick and I feel sick. Well, we can either keep going or we can call it a quick. No, I think now. this is what yeah, you're sitting here. This is what you've come for. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah it's what we signed up for. This I is quite yeah, an active time in here. Later in the video, in another area of the church, a tour member says he feels like he's been hit hard in the shoulder by some unseen force. Unfortunately, the camera only catches the audio of the event. I don't know, it should be up the front. Where is the scratch? On my shoulder. See this here? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look how well it shows up on this. Oh, just yeah. trying that photo. Yeah. That's going to be better than uh, any other. I'll, I'll just hold it down for a second. Look, Look at that, Ryan. Oh. Are you sort of freaked out by that? Because I'm like really. <laughs> Jesus. But in the end, no worries. All of the ghost tour participants made it out okay. Now, none of these people were so-called professional ghost hunters. They were simply tourists, so they had nothing to gain from acting scared. Making this video one of the most believable pieces of paranormal evidence I've ever seen, and earning it a top spot. So that's the top 10 scariest videos of the year. As always, I'm certainly not trying to convince you that any of the clips are real. So it's up to you. Are these real ghosts caught on camera? Or is each and every one of them just an elaborate hoax? You decide. I'll see you next year with even more brand new creepy ghost videos. In the meantime, if you see something that would be perfect for the top five, or if you captured something yourself, email me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. And follow me on Twitter at nukestop5. And Happy New Year, everyone. <laughs>